Assalamualaikum and hello doctor. My name is Muhammad Saluddin bin Ma Ayub and my matrix number is 285354 and my friends Mio Hakimi bin Mio Ghazali 289941. Today we would like to present about real sport versus e-sport. Okay. For definition of e-sport. E-sport also known as electronic sport. It is a form of sport where the primary aspect of the sport are facilitated by electronic system. The input of player and team as well as the output of the e-sport system are made by human computer interface. In more practical term, e-sport commonly refer to competitive video gaming that is of uh, that is often coordinated by different league, ladder and tournament and where player customarily belong to team or other sport organization which are sponsored by various business organization for the definition of real sport real sport pertains to any form of competitive physical activity or game that aim to use maintain or improve physical ability and skills while providing enjoyment to participant in some cases Sport is to entertain the spectators. Uh, sport can through casual or organized participation, and the most important part of sport is to improve one's physical life. Then, what is different between real sport and e-sport? So, what can I say? E-sport is always immediately multicultural. Real sport focus first and foremost on the national angle. Only when major sporting uh, event take place do they become continental and international. In e sport, you always connect to a game server in a region with many countries. Tournament and league with a prize money also usually take place multinationally. There is a raw division between North America, South America, Europe and Asia. Secondly, one sport but multi sport. If you play football, you cannot use your hand aid for tennis. If you play tennis, everyone will look at you in disbelief if you try to play football with your racket. If you in e-sport, you can always play another discipline with the same equipment. Switch from Call of Duty to Valorant, no problem. Switch from League of Legends to Dota 2, it's also no problem. So you can change not only within a gender at any time, but also across gender. For real sport, real sport refer to all forms of athlete activity that require physical prowess and exertion and often set in a competitive environment. For example, football, badminton, basketball, bowling, cricket, tennis, and others. Sport is a game or competition needing physical effort that is governed by a set of predefined rules. It is uh, distinguished as activities that may otherwise be labeled as form of recreation and leisure. One of another benefit of e-sport is pathway for industry job. Having a passion for industry and competitive gaming doesn't mean you have to work toward the goal of becoming a pro player. Esport is an industry, and industry require, require many hands behind the scenes. Here is a list of potential employment opportunity in esport. You can be a social media manager, event manager, agent, sponsor, streamer, caster, coach, analyst, and others. Having the experience of uh, competitive, competitive gaming under your belt will help give you an edge uh, when exploring other opportunities in eSport. You will have uh, not only network with other people in the industry, but you will have gained a fundamental understanding of what it means to be inside eSport. Then, we move to cons of eSport. At first, uh, toxic environment. In our society, men are culturally uh, only allowed to express one negative emotion. It is anger. If they express other negative emotions such as shame or fear, they are seen as weak or 
overly sensitive especially if they are edited to video games that is a lot of people in gaming community who might feel that anger is the only acceptable emotion they can ex express hence it is no surprise uh, that this community are so toxic some gaming community are more toxic than other a potential reason for that could be some games are more competitive than others and comp competition sometimes does not bring out uh, the best in us for the pros for real sport is first of all allows people to stay healthy by playing sports the body is proven to benefit physically and mentally for sharing your well-being and self-growth. Then, sportsmanship. Sportsmanship is a major part of the sport, is sportsmanship and honesty. By taking part in sports, you understand basic morals and understand what it means to be a fair athlete. Then, it is a physical skill and development. Skills such as hand and eye coordination and motor skills will rapidly improve by competing in sports. Training your body to become stronger and more durable will transform you into a physically stronger and healthier person. Then it is a cons for real sport is can result in serious injury. For example, either excessive training or accident can cause injuries. This injury could permanently damage you for whole life, then can be pricey and expensive. Uh, depending on the sport being played, it can be costly. To pay for a lesson, it could cost over 3,000 ringgit per year. This money could be used on other resources and more beneficial ideas. What the future of eSport? So, to answer that question, we need, we need to look to the fastest growing platform that eSport take place on mobile device. Right now, uh, mobile gaming make up 51% of uh, the world total gaming revenue. Consider that games like PUBG Mobile, Mobile Legends and Free Fire are immensely popular in the eSport scene and are easily playable on a phone. That means we could see the huge influx of pro players in these different games. So imagine how many potential pro players uh, these are set waiting for the, their chance to explore the eSport world. The revenue generated by eSport must be lucrative enough that different business and sections of the government have noticed and are now opening gaming hotels where younger gamers can go to develop their skill over an extended uh, period of time in an environment similar to the gaming house that a lot of pro players live in around the world. That is a trend set to expand across the world. Gaming hotel, gaming house, even esports scholarship uh, at uni university have begun. As a result, the industry is seeing more support than ever in getting brand new players into the esports scene. Next, for the future of real sport, that is very high uh, pay. For example, BM offered Lizzie Chia. Uh, for 1 million ringgit for being played under BAM for one year and, and, it can, and it can be contract for seven years. So you can imagine how much money he can have uh, if he been a professional pro player in badminton. In conclusion, while it, it fair to say the real sport do still offer advantage over e-sport in terms of physical activity. E-sport teach many of the same skill and life lesson from developing teamwork and strategic thinking to learning the importance of patience and overcoming defeat. Combined with the accessibility it can offer, this makes it hugely valuable in the individual and suggests e-sport team should be actively encouraged and supported. That's all. Thank you.